Good morning, I'm Brittany and this is Lauren and today we're coming to you from our kitchen with a yummy breakfast recipe from our hot dish blog. Yes, I am so excited about this recipe. It's Me perfect too. if you want to make it ahead of time so you have a hot brunch or breakfast recipe ready on your table. Absolutely. So today we're making blueberry French toast casserole and we're just going to go ahead and get started. First I'm going to spray yes. our baking dish with some cooking spray just so nothing sticks. And you're gonna go ahead and tear up the bread, which is the first step. And for this, we like to use a crusty bread. Um, today we're actually using sprouted seven grain bread from our bakery. Um, the sprouted grain breads are actually new in our bakery, and we have a few different varieties. Um, but they're really popular and trendy right now because they're a little bit better for you. Um, because the grains are partially sprouted, they're a little bit more easy to digest and absorb. So you're getting all those great nutrients from whole grains, but just they're easier to get this time. Um, and like I said, they do come in some really great flavors. This is sprouted seven grain, but we also have sprouted rye, sprouted honey wheat with raisins, which would be a really good one to use for this recipe, and then just sprouted wheat. So um, this is a really easy um, step that if you have kids at home and you yes. want to get them in the kitchen and cooking, um, anybody can get in here and tear up bread. It doesn't have to be fancy by any means. We're just tearing it up into about one inch pieces and just kind of loading it up in here so we have our the base of our casserole yes for our french toast and it would be blueberry french toast casserole without the blueberries so we're just gonna um sprinkle some blueberries in here and we're actually using frozen blueberries today um you could certainly use fresh there's one in there that doesn't want to <laughs> quite come, come out. out all right and so then we just kind of make sure they're all in all the little crevices and we can move on to the wet ingredients. Yes, so we're starting actually with cottage cheese, which is a little bit unique. Right. So it's giving it a little bit of extra protein. Mm -hmm. um, so we're just actually gonna blend this up a little bit and we're just using a individual size blender, which is really easy for this recipe in particular, since all we're blending up is the cottage cheese, just to get those curds um, a little bit smoother. Right, and it's really easy cleanup. <laughs> pretty good. It's really just to give it a little bit better texture. You could right. certainly skip this step if you wanted and you're not really picky about the texture piece. Right. I do love that there's cottage cheese in this recipe though. You wouldn't know it, but like you said, it's just a great way to add some more protein. Yes. So this comes out a little bit creamier now. So we're just going to put this in our big bowl okay. that we're going to make our egg mixture. All right. So we're good with that. So next we're going to add in got six eggs and then we've got some milk okay we're using skim milk and then I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a whisk just to whisk up some of these eggs which is very typical for a, a French toast recipe absolutely and I was going to say, one thing I like about this casserole recipe is that unlike traditional French toast where you have to dip each slice, this you just pour the batter on all the bread at once and you're good to go. Yes, exactly. And that looks like it's pretty looks like good. Yeah, so next we're going to add in a little bit of sugar to sweeten it up a little bit. Okay. And then we have some vanilla and almond extract. So almond extract is a little bit unique to this recipe. It's going to give it a really nice flavor. Absolutely. And then lastly, we have some pure maple syrup. So not pancake syrup. Um, this is just a little bit sweeter and less sugar is needed to give you that same amount of sweetness. Yes. So this looks smelling good. I can smell good. that almond. Yes, exactly. It smells delicious. So we're Next step is really just to pour this over the top, just to make sure that all the bread is pretty well covered. All right. And again, start to finish, this recipe is really pretty simple and you can make it ahead of time. Absolutely. Now, I'm just going to sprinkle it with some almonds just to get a little bit more of that almond flavor, add a little bit of crunch. 
Um, you could all, certainly do this after you bake it as well, but I like to get them nice and toasty in the oven first. Yes, and again, you could certainly omit this piece. And what's great about this recipe is you could really customize it. So if you don't have blueberries at home and maybe you have raspberries, you could certainly do that. Um, or raisins? Raisins, yep, with the bread we talked about too, so you can really customize it. Absolutely, now if I was at home, Making this ahead of time, I would just cover it with foil and put it in the fridge overnight so all those flavors really get soaked into that bread. Yes. Um, but today I'm just going to go ahead and pop it into the oven. And we cook it in the oven for 20 minutes. We would cook it covered um, and then 20 minutes uncovered at 375. So it would be about 40 minutes total. All right. And, and we have some already then prepared today to give a, a taste. Look at this, look how beautiful that is. Again, perfect if you're entertaining or um, you have people on the go who are eating breakfast or brunch at different times. Absolutely. So we are gonna um, coat this with a little bit of pure maple syrup. Now I love pure maple syrup over pancake syrup. Me too, because a little bit goes a long way. Definitely. Oh my gosh. It smells like a You train. would definitely wow your guests with this recipe, oh, yes. that's for sure. What do you mm. think? It tastes like something I'd get at a restaurant for brunch. I completely agree. Very good. So this is our brunch recipe for this morning. Hope you have a great day. And remember, you can always eat well at Festival Foods.